welcome back everyone and thank you so much to Ma and the rest of the panel for that absolutely fascinating discussion. Um, and like you said, this time we have uh, Marit with me from ABN AMRO and I think um, what I was most interested in hearing about is we spoke a lot there about kind of broad changes and how we expected the future to be but it'd be interesting to hear kind of I guess the experience of ABN AMRO and what you guys have actually done because I mean it's now been um, what over six months since kind of lockdown and during that you must have gone through so many trials and implementations and yeah yeah so we we started with um, actually conducting a lot of research so um, we're trying to work more um, data uh, driven as well in the, the products we develop because sometimes what we see is that in a company we create products no one actually wants. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> um, we, sp we spend a lot of time in researching what people actually need and what their wishes are, their concerns are and their hopes and dreams are for the future and then based on that we started to implement these uh, solutions as well. So for instance we uh, it took quite a while before we, we got a final go but we um, created this whole home office portal Mm. in which employees can for instance order stuff uh, for to work at home uh, it's also a lot of refurbished uh, desks and stuff as well because our company is trying to move towards a more sustainable company so that's what was one thing that people really mentioned that they uh, really need that to work uh, well at home and other topics are more like um, how do we ensure that we stay aligned as a team or how can we collaborate, um, how can we learn and develop digital skills. So based on that, we're now creating these uh, learning paths for people to work and develop uh, their remote working skills or their collaboration skills in a virtual world as well. What's been one of the most like popular kind of learning paths that you found that people like you know, want, want to find out more about? Yeah, so I uh, I work a lot on the culture and leader, leadership side oh. and remote leadership is somehow a very hot topic and everyone yeah. wants to learn and grow in that. Um, so that's one thing I was actually quite surprised about that that's such a, well, interesting thing for people to develop themselves in. Even though I kind of think that remote leadership is still leadership. So yeah. it's still about inspiring and motivating and engaging people. It's just that the landscape has changed. So whether first you would do that maybe more when you walked around and had more the physical interaction and now it's more digital, but it's actually applying your skill in a different landscape, um, but it's still about leadership. So. Yeah, so do you think the same skills then apply? You don't think there's too much of a difference between say, you know, being a good leader digitally and being a good leader while your team is at all in the same room. Yeah, so I think if you are, uh, if you have struggle, if you struggle with leadership, then remote it's more exposed. Yeah. Because, for instance, uh, when you walk around in the department, you can feel it can feel like you're very close to your people, but st you might still be busy all the times. But because people see you, they they feel less the distance is less but in a remote world that distance is actually huge yeah. but you're st it's the same thing it's just that somehow the visibility does something um, mm. with how your leadership is perceived and uh, I think it, it, sometimes you do need to rethink so if you're a good communicator then yeah, that's how that's one of the leadership practices you're good at then you need to rethink hey I, how can I do that in a more remote world or in this blended world but then it's just replying that skill instead of, I don't think you need to learn all these new skills as a yeah. leader. It's just being mindful and thinking about, hey, how do I motivate and inspire people in this new environment where as opposed to the previous environment. Oh, that's um, super. So effectively what, what you could be saying is that this is actually great for leaders because they're maybe having to like self-reflect on, maybe you said some of the things they didn't really have to think about too much before. Maybe they were a natural communicator with people and had to, come back and really na uh, narrow down on it. Um, so I guess we're coming to kind of the end of this little segment and I was just thinking if you had um, kind of one learning or one bit of advice that you'd like to give to you know, companies of any size from ABN AMRO's experience, what would be the you know, key one about navigating these, uh, you know, the next few years where yeah, we probably are gonna go hopefully to some sort of like hybrid uh, works, works uh, environment? Yeah, I think it starts with the intention of your company. Um, so I think it's really important as an organization to reflect on how do, you, as, as soon as we can go back to the office, do you want to go back to the office? And then how is it 
um, yeah, we're going to this fully remote model or we're staying in, in a bit more blended hybrid world because it starts with that and as soon as you know your intent I think it's really important to um, engage people in a conversation around that intent so what does it mean and how can it work what doesn't work um, what uh, what do people need to be able to thrive in that world but it really starts with your vision and your intent is if that's not there then it's really difficult to uh, navigate through yeah. that world of course yeah. yeah if you just have to go and like say I don't really know what's going but if you have clear goals an idea of where you want to be and communicate it effectively yeah then that is how companies can kind of uh, navigate the next few years. Yeah, and especially engage people in that conversation as well. I think that's something we sometimes forget. Um, mm. And I think that's part of the, the change, but also part of learning and seeing what works and doesn't work uh, for the future. Perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for your time, Marit. That was uh, super interesting. And hopefully to hear you from you uh, more in the future.